Hey, how's it going you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucky and today we're gonna continue playing some more Rachel Foster with an S. Um, I think we're pretty much at the end of the game now, so final push. Will something spooky happen? I'm excited. I haven't had a single jump scare yet. Um, something is telling me this is, it's not actually a scary game. <laughs> I thought it was scary, but it's just the atmosphere that's a little bit spooky, but there's no actual scares and enemies and stuff like this, so... Maybe I lied to you. I'm sorry, I also lied to myself. <laughs> and we have big feelings. Last uh, episode we figured out that we care more about uh, keeping our daddy's name nice and pristine rather than the fact that he was a pedophile who was grooming a childhood friend. And she pissed off Irving, the only person who gave a shit about us. Despite the fact that we're nasty bitches. <laughs> or a nasty bitch, should I say. Irving. Finally. Now we're talking. We're the only I one know, I got. I told you to go to hell. I was dying on this chair. I freaked you out. Right. Yeah, you need to apologize. That room freaked me out. So? I looked around the entire hotel, and if there's still a chance of getting to the bottom of the story, then it's gotta be behind the locked door on the last floor. In the attic. That it's always the attic, isn't it? For years. I know, I'll be careful. Okay. Always the attic. There are too many things that I took for granted. It's as if someone was putting pieces of my past in front of me to show them to me under another light. Who are you talking about, Nikki? Mm. I want to say Rachel. Maybe me. In my music box, I found the medal I won the night Rachel died. Dad could have put it there. And if he did, there must be a reason. It, it all sounds insane. What the if night I Rachel died. subconsciously I know what happened? I played in that really long hockey game. But what was going on in the meantime? You remember that night, Irving? I think I was at church with my family. Church? That night we had a mass for the poor here. We held one every year. As usual, Mom volunteered to take me to the game, but she was so busy with the soup kitchen that I was afraid she was going to be late. I remember while she ran around, she said she ordered me to close the mezzanine. You mean the intermediate floor above the reception? What's in there? A storeroom. Have you been up there? No, I'd forgotten all about it. I'd better take a look before moving on. My friends and internet acquaintances. What happened to the picture of the wolf? I did not hear that whisper at all. What happened to the wolf? I'm not- I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. I remember that wolf, the murder eyes. Okay, there's something on the mezzanine. There's a door on the mezzanine. Here, probably. Cupboard under the stairs? Never fails. Never fails the cupboard under the stairs. Hey, you guys! Hey, what's up? It's your boy? Skinny penis? <laughs> Can I just squeeze past? Is that okay? Damn, this is uh, giving me fallout vibes. What did you do? What did- what did you do? What did- Nicole? That's me. I killed her? I killed her? Was daddy protecting me because I killed her? Irving? 
23, 12, 83. Hello? Can you hear me? I'm on the mezzanine, and it's a nightmare. There are mannequins everywhere. They're set up like in a scene. There's one with a hockey stick. Wait, what the fuck? H-E double My hockey stick? sticks, you mean? If you're listening to me, whoever set up this representation, I, I think they want to tell me that Rachel was killed? But why my hockey stick? Hello? Hello? Oh god, why isn't he answering? Irving, I swear I'm not kidding. This is a huge deal. If you can hear me, it's time to make that phone call. I, d I don't want to turn around. Oh, I'm gonna turn around. Okay, everything's fine. <laughs> Holy guacamole! Sorry. I apologize. I, I did not mean to rip out your arm, girl. Sorry. Get out of here, Nicole. Thank you. Where are you, Nicole? It's about time. Did you hear my messages? How many doors have you opened, Nicole? How many are still missing? What? Are you... are you drunk? Keep going. Hello? Hello, Irving? Has Irving been playing me this entire time? He's not a ghost, he's just a player hater? He's been fucking with me? Is he like Rachel's boyfriend or something? Rachel's dad? No. Rachel's brother? I can't believe it. Oh my lord. I knew he wasn't, uh... I knew he wasn't right, you know? Like, not right in the head. <laughs> or, like, not right... You know what I mean? Like, he, he, there was something fishy about this dude. I knew there was something fishy, but he's the one who's been fucking with us. Is he just living in here? Because... That one time when he was calling out to that lady, the voice that came back, it also sounded like him. Like he just put on a lady voice. So I think he's just been in this hotel. Creeping on me. Trying to make me pay for something I've done. I killed Rachel. I knew it. I knew it. Oh my god, Irving. He fucked with my car? Mount outside. Okay, 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 okay. Montana weather. I'm reading up on stuff. Mixtape. Clinky Christmas. The noises that I heard. Rachel? Okay. Coordinates. C 1987 Dining Room Hotel. Helena Forest. Place unknown. Strange Lights 1989. And. Floating. Farting figure outside bedroom window. Nicole's data. Is this how long he's been in here? Holy shit, Montana High School. My university degree. Certificate of my title. Small town girl. Can I play with this? Ghost sightings. Christmas 1980, okay. That's my car. 
That's my car. I don't know what that is. Okay. Christmas 1980. This entire time. And this is where he's been calling me from. Irving, honestly, and I was gonna suck your dick. No gluck gluck 3000 for you. Hello? I imagine you found my room. What? I what did. What does all this mean? That's a question I've asked myself many times. What does all this mean, Irving? How must have been freezing you in yourself? here. How much can you take? What? Every memory. Painstakingly gathered, every reconstructed piece, every little element retrieved from the dark. A photo, a hairband, a lipstick. It means remembering, Rachel. That's what all this means. I didn't choose this path. I had to do it. What did you do, Irving? Did you kill my daddy? These walls ooze with memories. The memories get into the walls. Under the floorboards, they creep into the crawl spaces. You're not with FEMA. You... Jenkins, you, you never talked to him. Your boss, the phone call, all those weird events. You were behind all of them. Someone had to bring the last piece of the memory puzzle here. The most important one. You. Me? I... But why? What I, did I do? Your father wanted to keep you out of it. I convinced him that only you could resolve the equation. As he called it. I don't understand. How could I wish we could do stuff while this was over the <laughs> last few days you got a little taste of what it means to dig around in the past. Hunting for memories that scratch away behind every wall in the night. I we did it for years. Day after day after day. Damn. All lies. I have nothing against lies. I grew up around lies. Cheers to that. But now it's time for the truth to come out. Finally. What yeah, do what you is do what now? do you want, my dude? I want to tell you a story. There was an invisible boy. Like everyone, he just wanted to run on the grass, ride a bike, swim in the lake in summer. Can I open his this now? Okay. Oh, his father had other plans for his soul. In his dark world made of silence and prayer, there shone only one star. His wonderful sister. A heavenly creature that spent hours telling him fairy tales in secret. She who told him what a free and strong man he would become one day. Rachel? She was like that. Free and strong. At the time, I didn't understand her dyslexia. Or what retard meant. That's what they called her at school. But I could hear her but cry. But she was just dyslexic, or was she also... I wanted also to protect her. <laughs> was she also mentally underdeveloped? Like... One day... Because that just being dyslexic doesn't make you a creature retard, right? Like, come on. A human being that saw her. For real. My dad. Yes. And I was the invisible witness of what happened. A love. Simply love? A love. Nothing more, nothing You mean less. he took advantage of but that love was too a much. slow and it teenager? Was who paid for this love, Nicole? Rachel. Rachel was... your sister. Called it. Now I remember you. <laughs> you were too caught up with your hatred for Rachel to notice the innocent little kid that sometimes tagged along. Okay. Yes, it's true. I hated her. But I was just a jealous kid. I don't know if she did or Doesn't not. I, I don't know. 
those days are over. How could I have forgotten you? I was because you wanted to. to you wanted to forget him. What, what is it you want, want my me? dude? The day my sister paid with her life for her love, we all died. We make up the history of the Timberline. It was a tragedy. But you... We all got frozen there. In that very moment. In that... confined horizon of events. As you'll understand. As you've already begun to understand. I want to know what you want from me. Yeah, what is what you what are you to trying to achieve here? To get to where I wasn't able to go. You will be the new witness. But you owe it to us. And you owe it to her. Help me, Spidey. You're my only hope. Irving, you up here? This is gonna be a cozy little movie night. Cute. A few years have passed since I last used this old tape recorder. I think you were in elementary school. I imagine a testament should start in a poised manner. My dear Nicole, my favorite daughter, etc., etc. It's Daddy. Poised, weighty, serious, irrevocable. I prefer asking you how you are. Not too good. Really not doing good, Daddy. You're probably tired. You fucking I pedo. Imagine. At this point of your journey, the marks and voices of this old hotel will have already whispered all their secrets. You've always been good at solving puzzles. Mm -hmm. In this, you to my detriment. More your mother than me. Irving has always been convinced that you, only you, could surmount the fear and suffering that exuded from these hallways. This we is tried. the same notebook as the one in those who we remain. Terrified. We studied. We listened. We listened to her. Rachel didn't come. But all the love in the world wasn't enough to decipher those muted vowels, those wide open eyes, those tears of light. In your time and space, in the here and now, I will no longer be with you. But it doesn't matter, trust me, it doesn't. I can I pick that one up? I have a new theory, Nikki. Okay. Love What's your theory? Is and remains. It is in the wood you stand on, in the walls that keep up this hotel. Who are you talking about? And sometimes it hates. It hates those who didn't allow it. Those who cast it aside with indifference and those who can't recognize it. Stars still emanate their light, even after collapsing, right? Mm -hmm. There is a lot of light here. There is light. In death, I want to free myself of all this darkness. I can no longer see the stars. I'm tired of surviving in this limbo, so. How are you, Nikki? Could be doing I'm better. Good. I will be good. You will be. Once you're gone. Figure out what Rachel was saying, Nikki. She's here. Excuse me, what? Excuse me, what? How did Irving do that? There. 
sorry, my mouse cable is annoying the shit out of me. Are those my car keys, maybe? Can I go home now? <laughs> God, Irving. We had such good times. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> like, remember when you locked me in the freezer? And then you laughed at me about it? Yeah. Good times. Good times. There's nothing else for me here, no? No. What's this say? This should work. Okay. Irving really got us. He pranked us. I hear nothing. What the fuck hmm. do you want now, Irving? Leonard Honestly. Leonard was a very special man. His soul was big enough to love both you and Rachel. I knew my father's soul better than anyone. Mm -hmm. You were just a jealous kid. Don't you dare try to make me feel guilty. You don't- I just want you to get to the truth. So why didn't you tell me about the truth? Tell who? The Nicole who thought eating beans was the worst tragedy and couldn't wait to finish this business and <laughs> run away, forgetting everything all over again? He has a, you don't know he has anything about what my mother and I went through. But you're different to when you got here. Now That's you true. can discover the truth. A truth now that I feel violated. Have destroyed you. I didn't lie to you. I protected you. Listen. I'm sorry about Rachel. I hated her, and I hated my father, but I never wanted it to end like that. I understand your pain. Maybe better than anyone. Betrayal. Shame. Death. My family was destroyed. Just like yours. How much longer does this pain have to last? It'll He's be been coming soon. in and out, huh? Okay. What else is there to know? You want the truth. Well, I can't give it to you. I've already given you everything I could. Now you have to tie the pieces together. What does that mean? Your father always said we are the sum of the people we take with us. And you abandoned these people. Here, in this place. Enough riddles, Irving. I'm tired. I'm not very good at riddles either. You're the only one who can give a finale to this story. It's time you open the last door. The garage door so I can get the fuck out of here, right? I sure hope it's my car keys. Trunk? The trunk of this car. My mom's car. No. Ah, the trunk is in the front. Mm. What's this? I got all the items. Is that a blanket? Used to wrap a body, perhaps? In my mom's car. I'm in my mom's car, vroom vroom. Does that mean mommy killed? Does that mean mommy killed her? I think mommy killed Rachel. I guess mommy found out about the entire sordid affair and um... and killed her and killed Rachel. What am I supposed to do with this blanket now?
don't know how I would have figured that out on my own. I've been running around for a while. <laughs> Blood, I suppose. How could I have forgotten? Ah, her retainer. I, I saw everything. I was there. All the pieces were in front of my eyes. A kid's eyes. It was the same night as the hockey game in Masula. Reverend Foster was so busy with the preparations of the meals for the giving to the poor at the Timberline Church. And my mother, Claire, said that we would get back from the game in time for the distribution. Oh, yeah, she Claire's convinced my, my father to help the Reverend, and he'd come with his whole family. You and Rachel. Yeah. I remember it like it was yesterday. I turn I off the faucet, please. <laughs> I panicked and I went it's down to the garage. Claire was there, red in the face. Her look. Her look. It was just a fleeting feeling. That's why I erased it from my memory. I had to erase it, understand? What was in her look? It just wasn't She's got the look. her. It was like a, a frightful creature. A, a disturbed, dangerous animal. I've never seen her like that before or after. Gross. Not even on her deathbed. And then she put her hands on her hips, exhausted. She smiled. And there she was again, my mom. I thought it must have just been the impression of a moment. I had the finals against Cold Springs High awaiting me. I climbed in the car, throwing my bag into the back seat. My hockey stick was there. Claire said she'd cleaned it. She'd cleaned it. Go on. Mommy killed her with a hockey I stick? Don't. Go on! We... We got there on time and I played. Best game of my life. And the last. Claire was on the bleachers, encouraging me and cheering. And then I lost sight of her. For two whole periods, I think. And later, when I asked, she said she'd moved because Marty O'Donagall's father was getting on her nerves. But it wasn't true. And did she kill her during the game, then? Why Just would she... Just enough time to go back to the car. Don't say it. Irving, don't say it. Don't and say throw thing. her I, body off I the don't... cliff. Holy macamole. I traveled all the way with Rachel's body and the baby she carried inside of her in the trunk rolled in the blanket. God. Oh my God. In this tiny trunk? She killed Rachel. And I just blocked it out because trauma? Thank you, Nikki. Can I leave now, please? You've had your revenge. I hope all this gives you the peace you were looking for. I wanted you to help me uncover the truth. You're saying you didn't know that Claire... I was only a kid. She never wanted me to get to the bottom of it. Rachel is is here. So there is ghost Rachel here. You know I. Okay, he's I just been he's doing it along with his dead sister, I guess. Funky. But I'm grown up now. Now. I don't know where, where to go. I don't know what to do. Last. What? Wait, where are you going? Listen, we can work things out. He's what coming to kill me. Is terrible, but all the main players in this story are dead. Get it? Dead. 
We are still alive. We're alive. Me. You. We, we didn't do anything. He's gonna come That's with an axe. exactly what we did wrong, Nicole. We didn't do anything. But we were kids, my dude. What were it's we gonna do? Here. Rachel told me about it so many times, but <laughs> I never thought it was so beautiful. What? Where? Irving. On the cliff? Where are you? It's quite as far as the eye can see. Beyond the mountain. I think he is on the cliff. You... You left the hotel? But... It's too cold, you'll... But you left you'll your wet die boots. out there. Irving, please. I've lived in the dark for years. You freed me. And now I can finally rest in the light. I can... And go back. To her. Don't... Don't go. You, you can't. Don't leave me, too. We have our drink. It's not a goodbye, my tough, pragmatic, stubborn Nikki. We'll meet again. Another time. Beyond this horizon of events. Everything is... Irving? Why did he? Why? Why did he feel the need to do this? I won't stay alone here. I. I. Everything seems to be becoming dark. I'm scared. I'm. Ah, who's there? Rachel? <laughs> Is that you? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was so scared I was gonna get spooked. Okay, he 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 just wanted to die because he felt super guilty about what he didn't do. I made it into my car. Pick up the phone. Thank you. <laughs> yes? Nicole, it's me, Jenkins, the attorney. Finally, I can get through. So Jenkins was real, at least. How many times I've tried. I can't hear you. The connection's bad. How are you? I was really worried about the storm. I'm good. Great. I'm glad. You're sure you get- Listen, I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. What? What? You want to keep it? Damned interference. After all this? Catch you. What do you say? I don't want to sell the hotel anymore. You've been really nice. Your job is done. Thanks. Oh, oh well. I see. Well, you're the owner. And you got every right to decide. But maybe we should talk about it in person. I want to understand. This kind of decision- I'm back home. And I have to stay here. Forever. Not you too, Nicole. Wait a sec, let's talk. And there's also my scene. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Typical lawyer. But... You know, Mom, I was thinking about going to the lake. Remember where we went with Uncle John last year? Daddy and I started talking about the stars. You can't see them during the day. But they're always there. You feel like it? I would so like it. And we can have dinner at Doc Smith's diner on the bank. I've completely lost my goddamn mind now. Come with us? What do you think? It would be so nice to be all together. Mm -hmm. Mom, Dad, it would be so nice. No. Can listen to some tunes, maybe. She's not gonna do it, right? She's not gonna do what I think she's gonna do. She's gonna drive out of here. Wait, wait. 
did all that you asked me. Yeah. Stop it, please. Anger shouldn't rule our life. Are you talking to Rachel? You said that. Oh. I'm scared. I just realized what this is. She is actually going to do it. You. I. Don't want to die. It's getting dark. <coughs> I can't see the light. I can't believe this game is making me do this. <coughs> Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Complete. Oh, okay. That was the end of the game. I'll stay here with you, Daddy. Mom, we'll bring back the Timberline to its fortune together. We will be happy again, all together. Yes. Like a whole family. No more anger. Daniele, you suck at writing games. <laughs> what the hell, my dudes? What the fuck kind of ending was that? What the H E double hockey sticks was that? It's a sick song. But I think it's copyrighted. Okay, that was it for uh, Rachel Foster. I have a lot of feelings. I have a lot of thoughts. Praise where praise is due. The game was beautiful. Okay, the... The hotel, beautiful. Definitely inspired by uh, Stephen King's uh, The Shining. Beautiful hotel. Really nice scenery. I enjoyed all of the designs, all of the elements, all of the little things. It's a really, truly beautiful game. Okay, the art team put a lot of effort into this, but what? D nothing happened. Like d nothing happened. I, can I I don't even think you guys are going to enjoy this because, apart from solving some puzzles here and there, it's just walking around. Like you don't even get spooked. There's well, I got spooked. I got spooked because I'm a crybaby. But what was that for? What was the point? What was the morale of the story? Like moral. <laughs> The constant talking, okay? Talking with Irving on the phone, five full minutes of dialogue just with all the little pieces of evidence and not being able to do anything while you're on the phone with Irving. Like, it just defeats the point. At least give me something to do or something to explore or something to play with. You know, like it would have been dope if I could have gone into the arcade, got the arcade games working and played like a mini game or something while all of this stuff is happening while I'm talking with Irving. Because it would have made it so much more fun, so much more entertaining if I had more stuff to do around the hotel. More things to explore. I checked the entire hotel and there's nothing, like apart from the scary little rooms that we found here and there, like... It was just empty. There was nothing that you could interact with that you could do something with. And then there's all of the items that we picked up. We picked up the Polaroid camera and we picked up the, um, uh, the ghost microphone. And yeah, I was playing around with the ghost microphone and I unlocked a trophy just randomly but there was nothing else that I could do with the ghost microphone I couldn't talk to Rachel or you know hear her ghost or something like this it, and the Polaroid camera like I didn't I couldn't look at the pictures that I took I, which would have been a really cool feature if it was kind of like maybe not like fatal frame but in that sense like fatal frame like you take pictures and suddenly you look at the picture and there's like a little a little ghost figure like okay it doesn't add much but it it adds so much to the atmosphere of the game like why do i have all of these items for what for what i mean why did i do all of this and the story was just bad okay the characters were just bad irving immediately red flags i immediately thought he was behind something like he was up to something okay i thought he was a ghost granted okay i didn't guess the entire story um Nicole, a complete narcissist, completely uninvolved in the real world, did not want to acknowledge that her dad is a pedophile that groomed uh, 
a little girl, a little girl that was also mentally not as competent as a normal adult or a normal 16 year old in her case, even though they only said she had dyslexia, which I... Okay, whatever. That's a, <laughs> that's another one. And then the plot twist of the mom, the mom killed her. Like, yeah, I kind of saw that coming, especially the way that they were like insinuating everything like oh i need to remember and oh, i don't remember very well and suddenly i remember that i was friends with rachel and suddenly i have all of these memories of rachel like yeah i understand the narrative they were trying to do is like oh you don't remember but then you know you unlock the trauma as you go along so you know by the end that your mommy killed rachel but it made no sense that she didn't remember rachel at all and then suddenly she's like, oh yeah, actually she was here and she was there and I hated her guts. What's up with that? Who translated this game? This game is not originally in English, I can tell you that. 100% this was not written in English first. Um, or it was written in English in those seriously bad first draft that nobody proofread. Some of the sentence structures made no sense at all. It really took me out of it. Um, Maybe it was in French or Italian, judging by all of the names in the credits, probably Italian. It just has so much potential, especially because the art is so beautiful. The design is really nice, the animations of her going into the door, picking things up. Beautiful. Okay? Beautiful. Anyway, that's my rant over. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Did you enjoy the story? Did you see it coming? Did you see the twisty twist at the, at the end? Um, let me know if I missed something, if there was some other fun secret that I could have found or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you like this video by giving me a big thumbs up so I know if you want to see more of this in the future. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think. Did you like Nicole? Do you identify with Nicole? Or are you a ghost fucker like me? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!